So, yeah, that's fine. Obviously, I know I'm the, the oldest here. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's been a, been a mad few weeks, obviously, trying to get fit and, and stuff like that, but really looking forward to another tournament. You've been to many tournaments. Yeah. What's the vibe around this one? Really good, yeah, it's really good. Obviously, the talent in the squad, I think it, it speaks for itself. I know you guys have watched us training, seen the girls playing week in, week out for the clubs, and, yeah, the talent's incredible, really, so it's going to be a, a very exciting summer for England. And what can fans expect, the ones watching at home, the ones coming to the stadium? I think just the real energy around this group. I think um, a group of women that want to work as hard as they can to represent the country. Obviously, we're all very honoured and very privileged we've been given this opportunity. So I think that's what you'll see about, about the girls and about the group, that everybody just wants to give it their all and hopefully we can get all the fans on board with that and become one big family as we go into the tournament of our lives. And it's home advantage. Is that a blessing or a curse? Is there more expectation, but also a little bit more of a Depends which way you look at it. Are you a glass half empty or a glass half full? But I think for us it's a benefit. Obviously, we want our fans there to as many games as possible. Uh, France in 2019, I remember that semi-final against America, and they had so many fans came over to France, and it felt like it was a game in America. So hopefully now we can create that um, for our team and obviously get the girls playing the best football but yeah we we want our fans there obviously we know there's going to be people out there who are going to watch your performances criticize you and um, but at the same time there's a lot of fans out there that are going to support us and, and give us that extra player on the pitch and do you feel how much can you can you tell how much the game has grown in the period just in, 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 in. oh yeah massively i think i've spoke about the journey of women's football a lot and i think it's there for everyone to see 78,000 tickets sold for Old Trafford. I think that speaks volumes and all the other England games being sold out. So, yeah, the journey's been incredible and hopefully it can keep going and it's very exciting to see where it's going to be in the future. Jimmy, talked about energy there. Um, Jerry touched on the fact that you're the elder stakes person in some ways. What's different about this team to previous generations of I think we've always had a real kind of DNA about being hard working, uh, being good people and all getting on as a group. Um, I wouldn't say it's different with this team but I think there's a the technical ability in this team is, is incredible and I think that's something that we've seen a massive rise in over the past few years. Obviously club teams being more supported, being able to train more. Um, so yeah, I think with this team you, you're definitely going to see the overall product in, in that sense um, and yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. I think obviously today is, you know, gets you kind of in the mood for it, makes you realise what's going on and how big this home Euros is going to be. And it's one that I think everyone is really excited for. You mentioned it's the home Euros. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it more pressure? Or just... I think it's a great thing. I think for us, it, it you know, increases excitement for us, for us being here. And hopefully, you know, it can help grow the, the women's game even bigger in this country more than it has done already. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I can't wait to get going. I can't wait to get out of Old Trafford. And there's a lot of tickets being sold, but there'll be millions as well tuning in. Perhaps watching women's football for the first time. Do you feel that you're sort of past five years you've been inspiring another generation? Hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. You know, for us, that's, that's the whole aim. You know, I've spoken previously about giving young girls, young boys opportunities to go out and play football and for us, you know, we want to show that, you know, you can do it and you can play in a home Euros and there's opportunities for you to play in major tournaments for your country and for us it's, it's a really exciting time and hopefully, like you said, we can inspire, you know, just if it's just one person who gets off the sofa to go and play a game of football with their friends then we've done our job. And tell us about Serena, what she brought to the squad? Yeah, I mean, she's been great, she's really brought this togetherness in the squad she makes everyone feel you know like they're respected and that their voices are heard um, and I think you know she's just brought this honest nature um, in terms of you know dealing with difficult conversations when they have to be had um, and you know also she makes people feel good she makes you feel confident in your ability she makes you feel like you're valued in the team and I think that's important when you're going into a tournament you know not everyone can play so if you feel you know valued as a member you're going to accept not playing more than if you know you don't feel that way. What about, um, obviously, you've been in the 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm feeling good, feeling healthy. And like you said, you know, I've been able to participate in all the training sessions and, and be a part of them. And yeah, I mean, for me now, I'm not really thinking about much that had happened previously because I just want to make sure that I'm focusing on the here and now and focusing on my performances and training. You know, I, I have to show that I'm ready to go and that I'm ready to play. And, you know, I've been able to do that in the last few weeks. Is it, is it difficult to kind of focus the mind when you, know, when you have had a difficult season like you have? And, and what, what Serena said to you, we just talked to some of the other girls, and she said, you know, this is squad selection, she sat you down and, and you know, gave you that feedback. What, what was the chat with her like? Yeah, I mean, for me, obviously, I think before Christmas, I was in a really good place. I think I was playing some of the best football that I've played. So I've more thought about that rather than, you know, what happened after that. Obviously, it's going to be in the back of my mind. But for me right now, I want to make sure that I'm feeling confident going into the Euros. And leading into it, you know, I had loads of conversations with Serena on the phone in terms of how I was feeling, how I was doing. And she always made me feel confident in terms of, you know, if you get yourself right, then I want you to be part of the squad. And for me as a player to hear that when you're not playing, it's, it's really nice and it's really special to hear. So, yeah. I mean, I always knew that if I was able to get myself in a good spot, but, you know, like I said earlier when, we, when I speak about her honesty, you know, I said to her, like, I need you to be honest. If you don't think I'm ready, then, you know, you tell me that and you don't pick me because I wouldn't want to be part of the squad if you didn't feel that I was ready to participate or to give something to the team. So, you know, when she said that I was in the squad, it just, you know, reaffirmed the confidence that she has in me right. to make a difference. How did you feel last week? Did it help having quite a long without any games to, to get the team going. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we had you know, we had a big team coming in and we were able to focus on all the things that we want to going into the Euros and we still, you know, worked on game plans, worked on situations, you know, how we want to play in the Euros. So yeah, I mean it, it was good and you know, to top it off with a game as well, you know, we were footballers, we want to play games, we don't want to do, you know, loads and loads of training sessions without an outcome. So yeah, I think overall the camp's been good and I think everyone's in a really good fresh space. Um, and everyone's just excited. You can kind of feel the buzz starting to grow a bit. What's the goal scorers in this, in this squad? There's a lot of goals. Um, are you excited to, to you know, be part of that really kind of you know, attacking and yeah, ruthless forward line? Yeah, definitely. I think also, you know, to win tournaments, you have to score goals. You, know, you have to keep clean sheets and score goals. So for us, it's a really exciting team to be a part of. And, you know, previous tournaments, I've, I've got to semi-finals, so I'm hoping now we can go one better and get to that final. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a really exciting group of players. Um, but, you know, for me, it's not a case of, you know, what players you have written down on a team sheet. I think it's who shows up on the day and who's ready to perform at that level and, and give their all. So for me, I don't read too much into, you know, our England are the favourites, England are this, because I know how difficult these tournaments are and, are, are, and, you, and I know how close the gaps are. Um, so yeah, I mean, everyone is in a good space, but we need to make sure that everyone's ready to give 100% when it comes. Yeah, I mean, Penilla is a world-class player. There's absolutely no doubt. She's strong. She's physical. Um, she's got an absolute power shot. You know, when she when she really goes for it. Um, so yeah, I mean, she, she you know she just lights up tournaments like this. She's a big game player, and you know we need to make sure that if we come up against her, that we can shut her down quickly and don't allow her the space to drive and to get shots off because you know she can be so dangerous.